guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I did a video a few months ago about how to convert currencies using Google Finance. Now this I think is really, really useful and the video is a little bit long, so I'm doing it again just to really uh, cut to the chase here. So here, here is a real world Google Sheet I'm building. Google Sheet, of course, is an online spreadsheet program, part of the Google ecosystem. Um, and what I'm doing here is I'm uh, looking at buying a camcorder, Canon XA40. Um, I'm going to be in the US in the summer. I'm, I'm going to be here now. And because this is a somewhat major six, 7,000 shackle purchase, I wanna just do my research and see what the different prices are. And because I'm looking at uh, buying this also in the US potentially, I wanna just see what the price difference is there. So I have added a couple of quotes uh, from Israeli websites here. And the prices, as you can see, are as follows, 6,649 shackles, 5683. Now, in order to convert to a different currency, whether we're talking, uh, you know, dollars or pound sterling or euro, whatever, it would clearly be stupid to uh, do it one by one, right? Um, now, what you might think to do is look up today's exchange rate and uh, just apply that to the row, uh, the column. And there's actually a better way again to do it. That's using Google Finance. So the beauty of this, Google Finance, you're gonna be actually calling their API and that means that it's going to be pulling in, because it's part of the Google Eco uh, system, it's gonna be pulling in the live exchange rate, and that means that this Google Sheet is going to update automatically. So anytime you go into it, you're gonna be getting the latest exchange rates and the correct figure. So here's how it works. So, you, so firstly, for this cell E2, I'm gonna be multiplying by equals uh, D2, then multiplied by, now open brackets here, Google Finance. Uh, then you want to open another bracket and it goes like this currency colon origin currency is going to be uh, ILS for or origin currency first and we're converting to USD close that bracket and wait for it to work and there you go so that is uh, 6649 and the great thing with um, Google Sheets is you can just drag like this and you can see so even if I had 20 it would just go and apply another thing I like to do is just to reduce the decimal places um, and you can also just do that so we only need to know it to the nearest dollar so this is this is working now and uh, as the um, dollar to or shekel to dollar exchange rate fluctuates Google Finance is going to pull this automatically into our Google sheet and keep it updated so super useful if you're doing some kind of financial work price comparison um, involving different currencies uh, to know about this. So the, the, the methodology, one more time, I'm just gonna copy this in from an article I wrote uh, previously. It's Google Finance, open brackets, currency, colon, uh, and then you can look up these uh, three letter symbols for currencies in uh, Google Finance documentation, but they're usually pretty intuitive, like Euro is ERU, British Pounds is GBP, etc. But if you're unclear, you can look those up. Um, and then you just close off the brackets. Hope this video was useful. Thank you guys for watching.